How y'all doing today? It's your boy E-Right Guy and I'm back with another video. And for this video, I wanna talk about choosing nutrition programs that are accredited by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Because when people that are interested in maybe becoming a dietitian, when they ask me, what, what are some of the things that I need to do to become a dietitian? The first thing I tell them is, make sure you choose a nutrition slash dietetics program from a university or college that is accredited by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics because this is the only way you're going to be eligible to get accepted into an internship and as you know you have to do an internship to become a dietitian and the, sadly there's a lot of colleges and universities that do offer nutrition programs that are not accredited and if you're not aware you can go down and do four years of college and then get a degree to where you really can't do anything with it, especially if you're wanting, wanting to become a dietitian. And like, and people in that case, you may have to go to another university that has an accredited program and maybe take two years of classes just so you can get into an internship. So I found this video on the internet and we're gonna watch it together. And this is a woman that made that mistake. And I just want y'all to see what could happen if you choose a program that's not accredited. So let's watch this video. I was tired of waiting tables and um, I was looking to better my future and better my family. And I contacted the school and um, they had an online program, so which was perfect because my daughter was n not even two at the time. And so it worked out perfect being a working mom with little kids. I was like, oh, perfect, an online degree. And I contacted them and I talked to one of the recruiters and he basically sold me and said, oh, you want to be a nutritionist or dietitian? We have a watch, great watch nutrition program. This advisors. is exactly where you want to be. This is a great start for you. At the time, it seemed like my dream was coming true, like this was happening. I'm moving forward with my life. The last year of school, I was waiting tables, babysitting, not sleeping, and studying. That was all I did. Right before I was about to graduate, I found out from one of my professors that my degree would not be accredited and it would not be a send accredited. I was crushed. I was absolutely crushed. Like I worked so hard for so many years to have my degree mean absolutely nothing. I have a passion for health and nutrition and it, I learned so much, but I, I can't do anything with it legally or anything. So when I got a hold of the state, they basically said, well, in your Kaplan handbook, it says the accreditation is necessary, that, I, that, that Kaplan doesn't have it. Well, I don't have a handbook to reference that. With that being said, I wrote a letter and I was like, well, let's hope for something. I was like, I, I don't know what else to do at this point. I got a letter back. It said that we can't help you. You know, once I found all this out and I, my bachelor's degree came, I seriously, I cried for four hours. I'm not a crier, not really. I'm not, I'm a pretty logical person. And I, I sobbed and I cried and I was numb for six months. I worked selling vitamins to try and be in that field somehow. And it got me nowhere. I was so depressed. I'd put on like 15, 20 pounds. I drank heavily for a short period of time. Um, I was just completely numb from all of it. And I still, I think about it all the time. As of now, I'm like $40,000 in that. You hear that, $40,000 Kaplan is an expensive for school. a bachelor's degree um, in which she cannot use. There was a lot of times use. I had to take out so, as much as I Very important to choose the right program. Just to make ends meet. So I didn't have to work 40 hours in the restaurant on top of babysitting just to try and put gas in my car. They can't do this to people, especially like me. I'm a good person. If you're going to be, you know, shysty people, don't do this. Don't offer something that you don't have. You're messing with people's futures and lives. Like, 
yeah, I never would have came here. I never would have done this if I knew I wasn't going to get anywhere. Why would I? And I did. I put three hard years into this, and I can't get that back. How, and, like, put yourself in my position. I would like to tell whoever runs it, whoever thinks that they're the best person in the world doing this, and they're, they go home to their whatever they go home to, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in this, in this situation. How would you feel? Flip the switch on yourself one time. Go sit where that homeless man sits for 12 hours. Go wait tables for 12 hours. See how that makes you feel. Because it's not a good feeling working this hard for, for nothing. All right, so you see how devastating that can be if you get a degree that's not accredited in nutrition and dietetics. And if you wanna know which colleges and universities have an accredited programs, it's on the Academy's website. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. And if you still can't find it or you're still not 100% sure, you can email me or send me a message on Instagram and I'll look at it for you. And so I hope this video was informative. Y'all have a nice day and please, please, if you're thinking about becoming a dietitian, pick an accredited program.